Hi there. I'm an Abelothorus, one of the most ferocious of all the dinosaurs. Ah, chew! Excuse me. Anyway, I'm one of the fiercest of all the carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur, even though you probably haven't heard of me. This is the late Cretaceous period, about 75 million years ago. By that point, a lot of dinosaurs had already established their reputations, like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Allosaurus, you know, the really famous guys. It's harder for me to get noticed, but that's not because I'm not ferocious. I have a pretty wicked roar. Want to hear it? <laughs> you have to pardon me. I've got a really, really bad cold. <laughs> One of the things that's unique about abelothoruses is that our heads are mostly empty. You see, our heads are really big with large holes all through it called fenestra, which is great for smelling things like <laughs> afternoon snacks. But it also means that my head is like one giant nasal cavity. And so when I get a cold, it's a whopper. We abelothoruses are found primarily in this part of what is now South America. I hate it when I get one of these colds because there's only one thing you can do and that's take my mom's advice. Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. I have to get well soon because I want the whole world to know about Abelosaurus. Uh, uh, I'm okay. Gotcha. Scared you didn't I? Well, that's because I'm an Afrovenator. That means African hunter. Pretty impressive, huh? But don't be worried. I won't hunt you. Watch me hunt that Jobaria. He won't see me coming and he'll be so scared. Oh, he's gone. Well, that's okay. I'm not that hungry. It wasn't like I was going to eat him in front of you. There really is no trick to hunting. You just have to look. Take that Chubaria, for example. He's huge. Very easy to spot. Perfect. But you know, you don't need to be 10 meters long with a mouthful of sharp teeth and three claws on each hand to be a hunter like me. For instance, you could hunt to find where in the world we are right now. Africa, that's right. There was also a clue in my name. Did you get that? Afro, meaning I'm from what's now known as Africa. Or you could hunt for fossils, like Paul Sereno, who found a nearly complete fossil of me in Niger in 1993. What a find! Someone who hunts for fossils is called a paleontologist. Ooh. Please excuse me. Come back and see me next week. I will teach you how to use your nails to comb your hair. Hi, my name's Minmi. It's very easy to say, Min, me. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Mo. We're very special dinosaurs called Ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on. With all that body armor on your back, you didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. Hey, we could have raced Australian back by now. That's where our fossils were found, in what's now known as Australia, a place called Minmies Crossing. Get ready. Get set! And... Uh. Eh. 
I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, yeah me! me. Hey, what's up? What's up? Me. That's what's up. Look at me. I'm huge. I'm an apatosaurus, and I'm not lying when I tell you that I'm 23 meters long from nose to tail. Like a 10 story building is tall. Excuse me, they told me an apatosaurus was down here, and I'm really hungry. Nope, not around here. Maybe over there. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm being a tree, because that's what I am. And I made of wood. I taste awful. Okay, you kind of look like an apatosaurus, though. Nope, I'm a tree. Well, yell if you see one, okay? Yeah, like I'm going to tell them it's a bottomless pit over there or anything. Walk with me. My fossil was found in what is now known as the United States of America. I am a seropod. Which basically means we walk the lizard walk. We can't help it. It's the way our legs are placed on our bodies. Hell you? But, uh... Hey, aren't you that tree from before? Nope. I'm a hill. Just a hill. I should tell you, the word Apatosaurus means deceptive lizard. We're always playing tricks. <laughs> Psst. Hello, I'm the Argentinosaurus. That's Argentinosaurus. I'm trying to hide. It's not a good place to hide. You see, I'm playing hide and seek with my friends, but I don't think I'm very good at it. I am from what is now known as Argentina. That is in South America. Oh, this is hopeless. I am too big to hide. That's what you get when you know we're 70 metric tons and 23 meters long. I am even longer than three school buses. Mmm, yum! As a herbivore, I love eating plants. That bush looks too delicious. What are you doing? You're eating my hiding place! I am sorry I get so hungry. I need to eat 45 kilograms of food a day. And all this running and hiding, well, it just made me hungrier. Aha, got you both. You two are really bad at this game. I think I'm just too big for this game. But maybe we can play something else. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Ah, my friend, welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. No, wait, my friend. You live too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes. Believe me, this won't last forever. Alas, only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop out my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> and with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know, I am very unique. There were not many of us. So come, we will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. Ah! See the first butterflies! Ah, yes, that's it.
Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine. Then go, go! There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know? Just leave me be. But know this. You hurt me. Deeply. And now, I must stun myself. Sneak up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. Let me introduce myself. I am the Bipiosaurus. And yes, I have feathers. I was flying there a second ago, looking for some plants to eat. Did you see? Okay, okay, well, maybe it was more like I fell out of the tree. But I did feel lift on my wings just before I hit the ground. Heart. Did you hear something? Because I definitely heard something. Ah! Oh, I do say, excuse the interruption. You don't have to hide. Really now, I'm the Microceratus, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. What can I possibly do to you? They should have been named Chicken, not after Bai Piao, the city in China where they found the Bai Piaosaurus fossil. I am not a chicken. Just careful. Besides, would a chicken try to fly again? <laughs> It's just mind over matter. I can do this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. Okay, so my feathers aren't made for flying. They're more like downy fibers. But they're still feathers, right? And I'm not super huge or anything. I'm only a little bit taller and heavier than a man. All I have to do is think positive. I am positive! <laughs> I'm Dasplinosaurus, the frightful lizard. Did I scare you? Oh yeah, I'm the dino. Ah! Look at that scary dinosaur! Run for your life! That was a close one. Let me help you say my name. Das Plesiosaurus. Das Plesiosaurus. Seventy-five million years ago is a horror show of carnivorous monsters. But you're never going to find another scarier than me. See these teeth? These are dagger sharp, curved, and they have the same edges as saw. See? Saw? Get it? Ha <laughs> ha! These teeth are huge. Uh, only smaller than my future cousin Tyrannosaurus Rex. But they're still big! Uh, like I said before, uh, my name means scary lizard. And there's nothing scarier than me. Uh, let's think of some scary animals. A lion is scary, all right. <laughs> what else? A great big grizzly bear. Those are totally scary. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's my choppers as much as my size. Uh, I'm one frightful lizard, all right. I'm also hungry. Carcharodontosaurus here in the late Cretaceous period, 110 million years ago. Car, chero, donto, saurus. It means jagged, shark-toothed dinosaur. And for good reason. These teeth are 20 centimeters long. Pretty scary, huh? Well, they will be, anyway. I've got a loose tooth. When it's out, I'm going to be the happiest theropod ever. Theropod means beast feet. And there are lots of dinosaurs that belong to that family. Believe it or not, birds are in my family. Of course, T-Rex is the most famous theropod. But guess what? I'm just as big, if not bigger, than T-Rex. I'm 13 meters long! But I live in North Africa.
Maybe if I don't wiggle it, it'll fall by itself. Hmm, maybe it won't be today. out of my egg. Setiosaurus here. Let me say it slowly for you. Setiosaurus. Ah. Setiosaurus means whale well, lizard. And I am pretty big, aren't I? <laughs> I'm a herbivore, like other sauropods, such as Apotosaurus and Diplodocus. Sometimes, being heavy has its advantages. Unlike other dinos, I'm really heavy. It's because my bones are solid, <laughs> not hollow. <laughs> I lived along what is now known as Europe. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hardly any other dinos can eat me, but you don't want to meet the ones who can. Well, gotta go find my herd. Safety in numbers, you know. 